Hi everybody, this is part 29 of my DVD collection, uh, war movies. I love uh, military history like I said earlier and uh, World War II is my favorite period of history. So the first one is All Quiet on the Western Front, a great film from uh, 1930 about World War One. Next we got Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier. Great 1979 film by Francis Ford Coppola. Next we got Attack, uh, Jack Palance, a uh, good movie from 1956. Uh, Band of Brothers, a uh, masterpiece if you ask me. I also really like the uh, Pacific that came out this year. I have to get that. Next we got Battle of the Bulge, great 1965 film uh, with Henry Fonda and Robert Shaw. Next we got The Big Red One with uh, Lee Marvin, Mark Hamill, and uh, Robert Carradine. Two disc special edition, great 1980 film. Uh, Black Hawk Down, two, uh, three disc deluxe edition, great film. Great, great uh, action in this movie. It's just non-stop basically. Ridley Scott's film. Next we got Das Boot, uh, the uh, director's cut, Wolfgang Peterson's great 1981 film about a German U-boat. Next we got The Bridge on the River Kwai, a great David Lean film from 1957 starring David Niven. Uh, Bridge Too Far, collector's edition. This is a really good 1977 film about Operation Market Garden. Then it's got The K-Mutiny, uh, Humphrey Bogart, great film from 1954, collector's edition. Uh, Catch-22, Mike Nichols film from 1970. Next we got Cold Mountain, a uh, very good movie with Jude Law, Nicole Kidman, and Renee Zellweger about the uh, Civil War. Next we got Cross of Iron, a uh, very good film by Sam Peckinpah uh, from 1977, widescreen special edition. It's a good cover of this. Uh, next we got The Deer Hunter, great film by uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, John Cazale, Christopher Walken, Meryl Streep, one of the best uh, Vietnam War movies. Okay, down here we got Defiance, Daniel Craig, great movie from a couple years ago. Uh, the Dirty Dozen, classic uh, Lee Marvin film. Charles Bronson, Jim Brown, uh, Telly Savalas, great film, two disc special edition. Up next we got Empire of the Sun, Steven Spielberg, 1987 film. Up next we got The Enemy Below, this is uh, Robert Mitchum and uh, Kurt Jurgens, who played the villain in the, uh, the Spy Who Loved Me. It's from 1957. Up next I got the uh, five disc commemorative collector's edition of uh, Clint Eastwood's two films from 2006, Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima. Letters from Iwo Jima was my second favorite film of 2006, but they're both great. Next we got Full, Mo Full Metal Jackets, uh, Stanley Kubrick's 1987 classic Vietnam War movie. Uh, Gallipoli, a great Peter Weir film from uh, with Mel Gibson from 1981, special collector's edition. Next we got Gettysburg, uh, Good movie about the Civil War with Tom Berenger, Jeff Daniels, and Martin Sheen. Very long though. Not as long as Gods and Monsters. Or, or, wait, what's it called? Gods and Generals, sorry. That I didn't like as much as that. Next, got my favorite Civil War film, Glory. Great film. 
from 1989, Matthew Broderick, Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, Carrie Elwes. Special edition, just a great movie. Next we got one of my all-time favorite films, The Great Escape, special edition, Steve McQueen, James Garner, Richard Attenborough, uh, Donald Pleasance, Charles Bronson, just a great film. I love this movie. Next we got The Great Raid, a good movie from 2005 with uh, Benjamin Bratt, James Franco, Connie Nilsson. Next we got The Guns of Never Own, a great 1961 film with Gregory Peck, David Niven, and Anthony Quinn. And it's sort of sequel, uh, Force 10 from Never Own. I've, I love this movie, Robert Shaw, Harrison Ford. Not as good as uh, The Guns of Never Own, but I still like it. Next we have uh, Halls of Montezuma. Uh, Richard Widmark, 1950 film. Next we have uh, Howard Hughes, Hell's Angels, 1930 movie that uh, that Leo DiCaprio is, is filming at the beginning of The Aviator uh, with Gene Harlow. Next we got The Hurt Locker, a uh, great movie from last year. Uh, Jeremy Renner was great. Anthony Mackie as well in uh, Catherine Bigelow's Oscar winning film about a bomb disposal unit in the Iraq. Another great film from last year, Inglorious Bastards. Quentin Tarantino, uh, Brad Pitt, great film to the special edition. Next we got a very underrated movie, Jarhead, two disc collector's edition. Great film about the Gulf War with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Chris Cooper, Peter Sarsgaard, and Jamie Foxx. Next, we got a personal favorite of mine, Kelly's Heroes. Great Clint Eastwood film with Telly Savalas and Donald Sutherland. It's an oddball, very cool movie. Next we got The Long Voyage Home, it's a John Wayne film from 1940 and it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Next we have The Longest Day, if you've seen uh, Saving Private Ryan, this is a 1962 film about the D-Day landings, just epic, uh, cast is, is humongous, you see all the faces there. One of the greatest World War II movies from 1962. Next we got Gregory Peck as MacArthur. Uh, 1977 film. Next we have Memphis Belle. A uh, very good movie from 1990. A good young cast like Sean Astin, Matthew Modine, Eric Stoltz. Next we've got uh, No Man's Land, a great movie from 2001, one best foreign film uh, about the uh, the war in uh, Yugoslavia or the former Yugoslavia. Next we've got probably Stanley Kubrick's most underrated film, Paths of Glory, a brilliant film with Kirk Douglas about World War One. It's also available on Criterion either now or pretty soon. I have to get that because this is a bare bones edition. Next, we got The Patriot. Very good movie with Mel Gibson, extended cut. About the American Revolutionary War. Uh, Heath Ledger plays his son, and uh, Jason Isaacs is really good as the uh, bad guy in that. Next, we got Patton. Uh, George C. Scott, Carl Malden, about the great general, great movie, 1970. Next we have everybody's favorite, Pearl Harbor. I love this movie, I don't care what anybody says. I'm a sucker for Michael Bay, I don't know why, but for this set, Vista series. I loved it. And I actually saw it twice in the theaters when it came out, which I rarely ever do. Uh, Platoon, 
My second favorite war movie, my favorite Vietnam film, Oliver Stone's 1986 classic. Just a great film. Next we got 1984 classic, Red Dawn. Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howell, Leah Thompson, Charlie Sheen, Jennifer Grey. <laughs> Love this movie. And my favorite war movie of all time, Saving Private Ryan. Steven Spielberg's brilliant movie. Uh, Tom Hanks, Edward Burns, Matt Damon, Tom Sizemore. Just a great movie. Okay, next we got uh, Gary Cooper, Sergeant York from uh, 1941, I believe. Next, uh, Sink the Bismarck. It's a great British movie about the uh, German battleship from uh, 1960. Very good. Uh, one of my favorite war movies, Stalag 17. It's kind of like a Great Escape uh, movie, Special Collector's Edition, William Holden. Great movie about a German POW camp. Uh, the Thin Red Line, a great film by uh, Terrence Malick, and I will definitely be getting the criterion of this. It's out now. Three Kings, great movie with George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube about uh, the Gulf War or the post Gulf War. Next, we got Tigerland, really underrated, uh, under the radar movie as well. Colin Farrell, Joel Schumacher film from uh, 2000 about uh, uh, Vietnam. Well, it's more about their uh, training before Vietnam, but it's a great movie. Tor Tor Tor, the original Pearl Harbor film uh, from 1970, great movie. Another great World War II film, 12 O'Clock High with uh, Gregory Peck. Let's see, I got quite a few of these uh, cinema classics collection. Next we got U571, a uh, very good movie with uh, Matthew McConaughey. Harvey Cartel and Bill Paxton. And a movie a lot of people didn't like or just didn't get, but I thought it was great. Valkyrie, or Valkyrie, sorry. Tom Cruise, two disc special edition. I thought it was excellent. About assassination on Hitler, uh, the attempts anyway, and their attempt to uh, change the Nazi government after it. Next we got We Were Soldiers, great Vietnam War movie with Mel Gibson, very underrated movie. And finally, one of my favorite war movies, Where Eagles There with Clint Eastwood, Richard Burton, and Mary Uri. I actually went to the castle where this movie is shot in Austria. I was 12 years old, it was part of a geography field trip. And that was the first time I heard about this film. It's from 1969. Great action. I love this movie. So that's it for war movies. Up next will be my westerns, obviously. And here's a quick preview of that. So I'll see you next time for westerns.